say that this fellowship is a wonderful opportunity for people to do intercultural dialogue and um, to learn about themselves first and to learn about the others as well. It's really a, a life-changing experience and also on the professional level it was eye-opening. I have learned a lot uh, especially throughout the grassroots organizations that we have visited in the US and in Europe and they were very inspirational that I took with me this experience and I, uh, I implemented it back home. And one of the solutions that students come up with was they decided to paint the walls of their classrooms as a way to bring awareness about the struggles of sub-Saharans in Algeria. So I was really eager to know more about the region and, uh, and Islam because I'm coming from the country which is not exposed to this religion almost at all and there are many misconceptions, so um, it was great for me to, to visit different institutions and to speak with people. Sometimes it was uh, small information which fit into picture which I, was, uh, which I had in my head. And what I do while advocating, for example, for children's rights in East Africa is that I use their personal stories to help others understand their situation. And I think personal stories are very powerful tool to do that. For me, the program is a short immersion. It's a couple weeks away from work to totally break open your thinking, to see things and hear things and meet people that you would not have the opportunity to or um, have the initiative to. Um, so in my program, we went to uh, Egypt, Morocco, and Qatar, met organizations and also individuals. We met activists, we met artists, we met entrepreneurs, um, we met religious leaders, political leaders um, of all generations, which was very helpful. Our performances are in public, in the neighborhood, at libraries, schools, the mall, um, at Christmas time, which is a very public place to be, uh, presenting together um, the number of communities sharing together through public performances. I had uh, the opportunity to uh, meet uh, officials uh, from the United Nations. Uh, um, you know, as a journalist, I uh, quoted the United Nations in my reporting. So it's uh, the opportunity that uh, I met uh, those um, uh, prominent leaders uh, who, uh, uh, you know, take uh, decisions. Uh, and also it's a chance where I connected with uh, other colleagues. I believe media is a powerful tool uh, through which we have a duty to convey the message and raise awareness in a transparent, objective, a credible way. I would say it's a really good experience because um, uh, it's not like a touristic experience. It's more like going deep in the relation and meeting like people, organizations, uh, uh, political leaders, etc. So it really frames like your uh, understanding of a country and, uh, and also traveling fast in different countries is very interesting because you can see kind of the different types of leaderships and it's it's really important because you also realize that probably the leaderships in your own country is different and and still we can cooperate and understand each other it opens your mind and uh, and make you meet great people either from your own region or from other regions it is verified that imbalance and exclusion should it be economic or social or cultural leads to hate. I do a similar line of work and I think that this fellowship is very well structured, very well designed. And what makes it special and distinct compared to other fellowships that I've participated in or led myself is that it brings different um, values and norms together. So we see how actually norms from the West get to travel 
back to the east, and then norms from the east traveling back to the west. So we do not only see this in interactive lectures that we had in different countries that we were able to compare, but also we see how young people interact with each other. This is a very, very good model of how to bring locals together, how to connect different local communities globally, and most importantly, how to make them realize that they are actually the most important player in the process. Since the first day, you feel part of uh, kind of uh, really a, a new family because uh, uh, whatever we were doing uh, from the let's say meeting with uh, the minister of culture in Qatar or the I don't know the, the young uh, um, network on peace and education in Egypt uh, I was feeling always uh, comfortable with all the people I, I had uh, around me and I could uh, you know start whatever kind of uh, discussion or thought I had in mind because uh, it was just the right place to be. So why don't we use the same technology used by haters uh, trying to develop uh, uh, instruments like this so mobile phone application where you can go online and, uh, and report the cases of hate speech uh, to the online platform to allow Facebook, Twitter, for instance, to, to remove these contents. It's a life-changing experience, a very rich one, uh, where in two weeks uh, you will get to uh, meet with uh, a broad range of uh, individuals and uh, representatives of different institutions from different sectors um, in America and uh, Europe. Uh, people representing um, government, um, parliament members, uh, civil society, media people. So uh, it's a very rich experience where you get exposed to uh, uh, different perspectives and different uh, culture. So we started to facilitate more spaces, me and my colleagues, promoting active citizenship, diversity management, peaceful conflict resolution and nonviolence. It was really kind of one of those programs that opened the doors for me in terms of understanding who I am, understanding that I had the power to actually change things. And I think that realization was the most important thing because that's how I changed from being kind of sitting behind and listening to actually going in the field and being even more proactive and even more action oriented. So I think that sitting on those uh, uh, meeting and conversations and being inspired by my fellow UNAOC was really, really priceless and gave me the strength to go ahead and like do that first jump. In Morocco, women are triply burdened, most likely to be illiterate, no professional training, and culturally beholden to their husbands. Probably the best memories that I took home with me was uh, to meet people and to meet people uh, and to hear their personal stories and especially when we visited the universities uh, in Cairo. Uh, it was after the revolution and the professors who, who worked with the youth, it was so inspiring for me because Ukraine is undergoing similar moments in a way. So it was also um, a teaching moment for me, a learning experience for myself. As we live in the society of both truth, fakes and populism is on the rise, it's very important that religious communities help their religious uh, leaders and followers to distinguish between what is false and what is true.